If you are out there in Portland and you are trying to get started in wholesaling, you're probably having a little bit of trouble, right? It's not as easy of a business as people make it out to be, right? Wholesaling, yeah, you could totally get started wholesaling properties, right? You could make a lot of money wholesaling properties, but everybody that's out there telling you it's like the easiest thing in the world, I mean, they're, they're being less than honest. It's a difficult business, right? You have to identify motivated sellers. You have to get offers out to the motivated sellers. When you get these offers out, you need to comprehend the true value of the property as it sits today. You have to understand uh, the repair scope of work and how much that's going to cost. You need to understand the ARV. You need to understand the end buyer, what the end buyer is going to want to do. You need to figure out how much money they're going to make before you can make any money. And then, of course, you have to have the end buyers, right? You have to do many different jobs. It's not as simple as you make an offer and then you find somebody else and they pay more than you paid, right? You have to know a lot of things to understand where you can get that money in the middle, make that money on the gap. So I am here to help folks out there in Portland do all of that and do it with a very, very small amount of money. Let's go. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys, put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show, folks. I am James Wise. I am here to help you get started in wholesaling. As mentioned, there's a lot of stuff that's involved with wholesaling, right? And today I'm working with my guy, Elliot. We're going to partner on a wholesale deal. And here's the other thing too, right? A lot of the gurus to teach you all that stuff about how easy it is, they like to tell you you can do it without any money. You don't actually have to close on the property. Not the case. Uh, that's actually illegal. That would be illegally brokering real estate. You don't want to do that, right? But if you're brand new, you probably don't have a lot of money and you can't afford to close on real estate in Portland, right? Portland's one of the most expensive markets in the United States. Houses are regularly going for hundreds of thousands of dollars, right? Where are you going to get all that, right? How are you going to get your offers accepted if you don't have that kind of cash? What do you do? Is it possible to partner with me and still not need a lot of money and still get all that stuff done? Absolutely. And we're going to go over a real deal that me and Elliot can do together right after this. Man, I hate those other real estate gurus out there. Those real estate gurus that lead you guys to believe fairy tales, lead you guys to believe in magic, lead you guys to think that there's gonna be genies granting your wishes if you buy their course or their program. Like there's gonna be hot girls in bikinis just popping out. That's not the real life of a real estate investor. And here on Holton Wise TV, we give it to you straight. Welcome back. Let us pull up the deal. Now, this deal, right? Shocker. This deal is in Cleveland, Ohio, right? Why? Why did I choose Cleveland, Ohio? Why are we talking about a Cleveland, Ohio deal, right? What's up? What's so special about Cleveland, Ohio? Well, it is one of the cheapest metro areas in the United States. Properties in Cleveland, Ohio are regularly selling for pennies compared to what you're all used to in places like California, places like Portland, places like New York, right? So when people tell you you can't get started in wholesaling if you don't have a lot of money or you just can't get started in wholesaling, it's not the way to start. They're not, it's not correct. You can get started in wholesaling, but you do need some money, right? You do need some money. So the people that say you don't need money at all, they're lying to you. They're leading you down the path to doing something illegal. Uh, but getting started isn't impossible if you're in an expensive market, right? You can find markets like Cleveland where you need very little money. As a matter of fact, this deal, I'm going to show you how to take this thing down for 8K, right? Eight grand. Imagine being in Portland or California, New York, and being able to buy a piece of real estate for eight grand. You can't do it, right? But places like Cleveland, you can do it. And we're still going to work it out where you can get a 10K spread, right? 8K investment, 10K profit. That seems like a hell of a return, right? And we do that by having a very firm understanding of the market. Now, it would be impossible for somebody out of state to figure all that out. You got to learn a lot of stuff to wholesale properties, right? You have to identify motivated sellers. You have to figure out what the true market value of the property is in a 
distress state. You have to figure out how much repairs are going to be needed to get it to its ARV. You got to figure out what its ARV is. You got to figure out how much those repairs are going to cost. And you need to have a huge network of buyers, investor buyers, right? That's a whole lot of stuff. That's a lot for somebody who's brand new to real estate and not uh, familiar with the market to take on, right? So that's why I tackle almost all of that, right? And I'm going to walk you through it. This property, 10922 Tacoma, Cleveland, 44108. Listed at 45K, it's been on the market for 41 days. This house is all type of jacked, right? You can see the windows are boarded up, okay? It needs a full rehab, right? Probably a good 30, 40K rehab if you're paying a professional to do it. A lot less if you're doing it on your own, right? And that's what's important. It's important to know your market, know your audience, okay? Here's the deal. The people that are going to make money on this property are going to be people that do the work on their own, right? These are properties that local guys that run rental portfolios or run contracting businesses, they're going to want to do deals like this because they can get the work done if they're doing it themselves, right? I'm talking contractors who are physically out there actually holding paintbrushes and hammers and they have a couple hourly guys working for them. Those are the kind of people that can squeeze down those rental costs, get that sweat equity. Those are the kind of people that are going to want to buy this. But guess what? Those people ain't going to pay 45 k And what's happening is you have a seller here who has overpriced it. They're getting desperate after a while, right? When people overprice properties because they're unwilling to understand the true value of their property... <clears throat> they start to get scared, they start to get nervous, and as it sits on the market, 40 days, 80 days, 100 days, no offers come in because people, most people just pass on it because it's so overpriced, right? And the seller just starts to think that nobody will ever buy it. That's where we come in and we hit them with that lowball offer. Now, if the seller actually priced it appropriately, they probably would get higher offers, but since they priced it higher, they're getting no offers. I see this all the time when I sell real estate. I'm like, yo, your house is worth 50. Seller's like, all right, well... Let's price it at 70 so we have some negotiating room. Now, your house is worth 50, bro. If we price it at 50, we're going to get a higher uh, closing price than if we price it at 70. Because if we price it at 70, it's just going to sit forever, and you're going to have to keep dropping it. And eventually, you'll get it sold for less than what you would have because everybody thinks there's something wrong with it at this point. So seller made a total uh, rookie move here, overpricing their property. So because of that, they'll be like low to no competition and that's where we could jump in with a pure cash no questions asked offer 8k after closing costs and whatnot we're looking at about a 9k investment then i will get to work doing what i do i will put together a video like you see on the investment properties for sale show full video tour going through the whole thing i'll break down the renovation and i will use my network as the largest seller of investment properties in the cleveland market 200 million dollars in investment property sales just like this one to get this thing sold for a 25k do i think this seller and this agent have the ability to sell this for 25k probably not right but, but by being the best i can get you know pretty decent premium because i'm gonna put it all in a package as nice of a package as could be right because this seller probably doesn't really understand all the work needed i'll be able to lay that out right i do this i run a huge management portfolio i have contacts with all these types of people right it takes years and years and millions of dollars to build up that type of infrastructure but you luckily get to partner with me to do so right so if I sell it at 25K, which I have no problem thinking I won't, that would be a clean profit of 10K for you. Let me know what you want to do. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.